Step three, hyperlinking. Hyperlinking. We hopped it. I hopped it back in step two when we were talking about georeferencing. Hyperlinking is a powerful tool in GIS because it allows you, while you're sitting at your desk, once you have data and you start putting data into ArcMap, into ArcView, these points, these nodes, these polylines, it, it's incredible what's going to happen because You'll be able to, now that you have georeferenced data and you have step one, you've scanned these folders and files in and you've created CAD files, deliverables for your, for your clients. Anytime you have jobs in or near the areas that you've already worked in or you want to go or a customer calls and has a question and while you're sitting at your desk without getting and going to that file cabinet, you're able to use the mighty computer mouse and hover over after hitting the lightning bolt, hover over a point that has been hyperlinked, click on it, and you'll be able to retrieve. As we made the analogy, I made the analogy in step two of a wire from that point to those files on the either your hard drive or onto the server, you'll be able to pull them up, view them, print them, do whatever you want or need to with them. And this proves very, very effective in managing a business in the area of answering questions when clients call. It comes up very effective. The most powerful part to me has been in job prep because we seem to go back to or near projects time after time. It may be six months, it may be a year, it may be three years. Being able to pull up that control, being able to pull up the information at just click, click at a, at a fingertips and being able to have the, the information that we're going to talk about in step four, this rich data of aerial backgrounds and topographic data really helps in preparing the field crews to go out and do their survey work. At our companies, I've always said that our goal in the office is to set the field crews up to make an A every day because as land surveyors, it's either an A or we're out of business or we're in trouble. So hyperlinking allows us access to this incredible stuff called field notes. The legal description, the drawings, all the data that's involved in the previous jobs that we've done. And the lightning bolt has power only when points in ArcMap and ArcView have been hyperlinked. It just isn't an automatic process. It's something that there's several ways to do. We're going to go through. Mr. Rene Garcia, who is the president of Digital Mapping Services, I've worked with him for 10 years plus. He's been in the GIS profession for over 15 years. He's a graduate of Texas A&M Corpus Christi here with a computer science background. So he has programming skills. He's one of the GIS people that embraces surveyors because the way I met him was giving him a huge data set of a 67 mile pipeline system and it was all survey grade data and I gave it to him and, and that's when he realized that GIS could be a lot more fun when the quality of the data was survey grade and we joined up and again now we're business partners. He and I will be doing demonstrations of hyperlinking using the screencasting software where that we'll be talking you'll be seeing the computer screen but the identify button and the hyperlink lightning bolt are very powerful and one of the things that I've learned over time through over 10 years of doing this at first I wanted every job and every project hyperlinked and that may be a way to go and we'll show you how to do that using uh, the join command and, and tables and spreadsheets and databases and things like that we'll also show you how to use the identify button and how to hyperlink one point or two points on each project because having your points in ArcMap and ArcView is very powerful. Having points within each project that are able to link to the scan and to the drawings and to all this other data that isn't actually in the project is extremely powerful. So we'll show you ways to do it. There's multiple ways to do it. It's up to you. It's your business. We're just going to give you tools through GIS out of the box that really helps you manage your business and get <laughs> the business from managing you so much because you'll know where your jobs are and you'll be able to access these files, even the old historical ones. 
So hyperlinking step three, we're going to go to the computer now and show you how. Step three, hyperlinking. This is the step where that we actually link a data point, at least one data point out of each project, and we link it back to the scanned data or the CAD files or text files or images or whatever's on the computer. Renee, what are you going to show us? Robert, we uh, currently we have a uh, GPS file from a project we did out here near our building, and uh, they're already symbolized as a our 5 8 inch iron rod and 60 D nail. We got a couple, one other. Uh, we got our our uh, control. It's not in the in the view, but I'm going to demonstrate how to hyperlink to a, a CAD file and, and a PDF okay. using the using the identify tool right here. All right. So what I'm going to do first of all is uh, I'm going to click on that tool. You see when I when I hover over it, it says identify. Right. And you're going to get a little window here. I can uh, I can move this out of the. I can actually close this. The tool is going to still stay on. And I'm going to hover over maybe a point right here, one of the, the GPS points. And it actually it caught a street there. It's okay. Actually I should have I should have just there it is right there. Alright. And what what I, I you can also do here, Robert, on that to help with the identify tool, you can actually tell it exclusively to pick that layer. So right. I'm gonna go ahead and do that way it doesn't it doesn't um, pick the streets anymore. But now I have uh here's my F I D point and Here's really my my uh, point number, you know, one zero zero five. Here's my project number, and here's my X and Y and Z. Uh, right here, once we get to this information, after clicking on that point, I can right click. I'm right clicking, right over this feature. Right, here. let me go do it again here. I'm right clicking right, right underneath the job number. Right here it says found five eighth inch iron rod. Uh -huh. I'm gonna right click, and it's gonna say add hyperlink. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna use that right there. And right away, it's going to give me the option to go to a server or to my C drive. All right, to go browse and look for some folder somewhere, correct? Correct. So I'm going to hit the browse button, and I'm going to go into my, uh, my project folder. And now I'm here, I'm here in my uh, project folder, 09090001. And I'm going to go into my scans uh -huh. um, and pick this PDF here. Click open, click OK, and it doesn't look like it did anything. I'm gonna I'm gonna go through this again. I'm gonna right. I'm gonna actually pick the CAD drawing now also. But, but did, by doing that, you've actually added one of them. I we'll added, see, I added one. See. And, yeah, yeah, see right here, it already has a hyperlink right here. This was grayed out a while ago. Right. There was there was no uh, no link until so there's one link already to the PDF. I'm gonna go ahead and add, add another one. All right. We'll be able to add multiple hyperlinks to this. Go to the browser. I'm gonna go to the CAD file. Uh, DWG 0909001. Click open. Click OK. And uh, really didn't look like a whole lot happened, Robert. But this lightning bolt here is, is lit up. All right. And that means we got some hyperlinks somewhere. Okay. You know? I'm gonna click on the hyperlink tool. Which is the lightning bolt? The lightning bolt, and it, it'll be yellow up on the screen. And on the on the toolbar, it's yellow. Once you go over the, on the screen, it's almost invisible. It's white, and you'll see two 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 blue dots here. Mm -hmm. where, where there's where there's existing hyperlinks. I think I did I did this one earlier, but I added a hyperlink to this one right here. And, and when you see I, I hover over there, I, I get a path, and it's going to be a path to the first one of the hyperlinks here. And now it sees that we have a DWG and mm -hmm. a PDF hyperlinked. Right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say jump, which means open. You know, right. I can pick either one right here, be the PDF or the DWG. But I'm going to click the jump button. And I, I, I don't have AutoCAD, Robert. I have a true view, which is just a viewer, which is, for my purposes is perfect. Uh, and now I can actually go in and look at this, uh, at this CAD drawing. 